Hello all and once again welcome back to the online spoken English class. In the previous session we had dealt with the degrees of comparison with the use of ER and EST and also with the use of more and most. Today we will be dealing with some irregular adjectives. We will be dealing with some irregular adjectives. In some adjectives, we see that in their comparative degree, they don't take more or most or either ER or EST in as a suffix. Rather, they sound entirely different in their different degrees of comparison. For example, good in positive degree is said better in comparative degree and best in superlative degree. Now, we see in this example that we haven't used er as a suffix in good. We don't say it gooder. We say it better and in superlative degree we call it best so this is what we call irregular adjectives another example i would like to tell you is bad worse and worst the same rule is applied even here we haven't used badder we have used worse and worst let us have a look at some more words. Please repeat them after me. Positive, comparative and superlative degrees of far, farther or further, farthest or furthest. Little, less. Least Much More Most Late Later or later Last or latest Old, older or elder, oldest or eldest. In, inner, innermost. Up, upper uppermost now let us see these words in sentences so that we may understand them better good ravish is a good singer better shivam is a better singer than ravish best suresh is the best singer of all the three. Little I know little Sanskrit. Less My knowledge of Sanskrit is less than that of Barkha. Least Rekha has the least knowledge of Sanskrit. Far. The school is far from my house. Farther. The school is farther from Rajni's house than that of mine. The school is the farthest from Dolly's house. Now, let us first listen to a conversation. 
between Richa and Atoll. This is the worst situation we have ever faced. This is because of COVID-19. A little carelessness can prove life-threatening these days. We should be more careful while we move out from our houses. Old people and kids have to be extra cautious regarding this. The one with good immunity has the uppermost hand in fighting from the disease. Let us hope for the best. In this session, we had learnt the use of some irregular adjectives. In the next session, we would be going through some common errors that we generally make while using adjectives. Thanks for listening to the session.